think I just missed this this bus by maybe one minute. Um, apparently they drop into the terminal for a minute or so and then continue onwards. So I was getting some snacks and empanadas and a bit of bread um, for the trip today. So I think it's not coming for another hour. So I guess I'm just gonna chill around here for a little while, maybe take a little walk. Actually it does really nice. Like a sort of like a curry, chicken curry style empanada. Really tasty. Um, was it worth me waiting another hour in the cold? I'm not sure yet, but the sunrise has been pretty nice this morning. So just gonna chill out here. <laughs> well, uh, we've just arrived in Races, which is the town the closest to where I need to uh, get to the entrance. Um, it's pretty pretty chilly this morning. Um, gonna have to do some hitchhiking because apparently there aren't any buses. That's yours. So just arrived at the entrance of the Valle of Toluca. Uh, there's just a few restaurants. I'm gonna probably get something else to eat. <laughs> Sí. Vale, gracias. Vale. Provecho. I couldn't help myself. I got another feed. This one is a chincharon and mushroom. Because it's freezing, it looks it looks even better. I've also got coffee, so I'm very happy. <laughs> ¿Cuánto cuesta un ayuntamiento? Pues 50. Vale. This is amazing. Um, I now just got dropped off by one of the camionetas. Pretty much everyone's actually taking a camionette up. No one's really taking or driving up. Um, it was 50 pesos to get up here. It took about 45 minutes. It was really bumpy, but really beautiful views. Now I'm um, just walking over to this Awesome, awesome mountain. Just um, really enjoying this after being in the city for so long. It's nice to get out into nature. And let me tell you, this is, this is just unbelievable. I really, I'm really impressed by the views. And it's only about an hour and a half away from the city, so it's not even that far away if you want a day trip. That's what a lot of people are doing. I'm staying in Toluca, but yeah, it's um, well worth, well worth the time. So when we reach the top of this section it'll it's gonna open up into a view of the lake system below Damaged, um, but luckily it's just gone um, 
front of the, the hall. I, I think it's fine. Um, but a fellow may have owned myself in front of about seven or eight people. It looked like an absolute moron. <laughs> but um, it was worth it to go up to the top of, um, for the view. And yeah, I'm just going to ascend or descend really slowly with care and hopefully avoid another stack. But yeah, that was um, not pretty, not exciting, um, but probably pretty funny for other people watching me. So there's this 360 view here. Um, it's absolutely stunning. There's a ton of different walking routes. You can probably see right behind me. There's a little walking ridge up the top there. A few people I saw when I was up there, um, you can get a big vantage point um, of the lake down below. And then there's another one, probably a little bit steeper and not as good if you don't have um, proper hiking shoes because you just slip. Um, and then if you want to head down here to the water, um, you can actually walk around and it'll give you another perspective. So your sport for choice, you can stay here for hours. You're kind of surrounded by almost a crater. Um, so you're walking up and then down into it. And then, um, yeah, it's sort of like an amphitheater, a, na a natural amphitheater. Um, but yeah, for something that's so close to the city, um, you're only an hour and a half away from Mexico City and then also you're, you know, a really, really short ride from Toluca, which is where um, you do this trip from. It's pretty cold. Got my snacks, got the uh, go-to peanut butter and just some crackers. That'll be enough for me until um, <laughs> I go back and get some proper food. So my recommendation would be to do the two um, vantage points when you first arrive and then go down to the crater and you can do a walk around um, the lake um, and that way you can see pretty much everything. I'm an idiot. My drone, these wings just crashed into a rock. It lost, it's lost stabilization because of the high altitude and uh, wow, two of the wings are broken. I don't know what's happened to the rest of the device. I'm not gonna fly it now, I need to go get it. Get some um, <laughs> tools to, uh, to get rid of these ones and replace them, but hopefully it'll fly again. Yeah, as you can see, everyone's pretty knackered. People are chilling on rocks, enjoying the sun, and others are making their way back down. Um, so I'm pretty much ready to go. Get back down the camioneta and then head back to Toluca and take it easy for the rest of the afternoon. So um, I'm just gonna head back down now and I will see you guys a little bit later. I'm, I'm with my with my new uh, Mexican friends, and they're uh, we just we just met on the uh, camioneta, and we, they they also invited me to this little. What case come to you? It's a pie, I guess. Just <laughs> cake. Uh, and then they're giving me a ride back to town, so auto stopping, getting the hitchhiking going. <laughs> The hospitality conti continues. Now, I, now they, they've, they've, bought, they've bought me a soul. The legends have bought me a soul. Gracias, chicos. Fucking drunk. I love, I love my life. Oh yeah, salud, pendejo. Te gusta, te gusta. I like it, pendejo. I like it. So I'm gonna wrap it up now. Um, I'm gonna chill here for a little bit. Enjoy the views for a little bit longer, but um, thanks for coming along the adventure with me today. Uh, there's plenty more content to come and I'm really looking forward to sharing it all with you. So I'll see you then in the next one. Bye.